it's pretty easy to change the wallpaper or set a screensaver on your Chromebook. To do so, click on the system tray in the lower right corner, then click the settings icon. When the settings window opens, click on personalization in the left column. And to the right, click set your wallpaper and style. Here you'll have some options to customize your wallpaper and enable a screensaver. We'll focus on wallpaper first specifically with setting the theme at the bottom. By default, your Chromebook's theme is set to auto, but you can also set it to be light all of the time, or dark. If you click Wallpaper further up, you'll have a number of different options for what you can set your wallpaper to. You can use your own images that you have saved on the Chromebook, or images that you have stored in Google Photos, as well as images from a number of different categories. If you click on one of the categories, like landscapes, you'll see a number of different landscape photos that you can choose from. Click on one, and your wallpaper will change immediately. You can also click the button that says Change Daily, and each day it'll display a different wallpaper. If you ever want to change to a different wallpaper before the next day, just click the Refresh button and it'll choose another one. If you go back to the first screen, there is also a screensaver option. To enable it, click Turn On. By default, it'll choose a gallery of images for you. On mine, you can see that it's set to Earth and Space. If you scroll down, you can change the image source to Google Photos if you have any albums stored there that you'd like to use. You can also click Art Gallery, and you'll see the different image groups that your Chromebook can currently choose from. On the previous screen, you have a few different screensaver animations that you can choose from. And further down, you can choose whether to display the temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius. If you ever want to turn the screensaver feature back off, all you have to do is disable the toggle at the top of the window. If you have any questions, you can always visit the Acer community or our Acer support site. And don't forget to subscribe.